Arizona has reached a $5 million settlement with Honda related to faulty Takata airbags in 13 on your side has learned that thousands of Arizona car owners will get a piece of that settlement. Reporter Susan Campbell has the details. A collision, a defective airbag bearing the signs that something terrible happened here. Honda says the driver of this 2002 Honda Civic was killed in a crash two months ago in Mesa when a Takata airbag inflator ruptured, an airbag that's been recalled since 2011. According to a Mesa police report, metal shrapnel was discovered in Amber Strahan's neck. It's really important that people understand how dangerous these defective airbags are. Jason Levine is the executive director of the Center for Auto Safety. He says it's critical for drivers to get Takata airbag recalls fixed immediately. There are literally tens of millions of these defective airbags that remain in vehicles. Uh, the older the vehicle, the higher the risk. Now Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich is announcing a new plan to get some of those dangerous airbags off the road. We know that, you know, there, there, there's a family that lost a loved one, not only here in Arizona, but it's happened in other places. And so we want to make sure that people know about this and as soon as possible, they get those airbags replaced. Under a new settlement with Honda, some Honda and Acura owners will receive $100 restitution checks. Another 40,000 Arizonans will get gift cards like this worth 50 to 150 bucks. Here's the catch. These gift cards won't be activated until recalled airbags are replaced. We wanted to create incentive, a creative incentive working with Honda so people would go in and get those airbags replaced so they're not putting themselves or their family members in danger. The hope is to prevent another tragedy like the one that happened in Mesa.